This is the cheapest spot welder I could find on the internet. I paid six pounds for it. I think they're about nine pounds now. So <laughs> it doesn't come with an XT90, it comes with those, but I cut them off because they're crap. These are good. <laughs> it's got stampings on there that says 20 amp on these lugs. These wires, what were they now? 12 AWG. Now bear in mind that spot welding takes hundreds of amps. <laughs> uh, no. 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 Here's my LiPo battery. This will kick out around about a thousand amps pulse. <laughs> well, it's got an LED on it. Apparently, there's five levels of shitness on this. So you've got level one, which won't do a lot. Level two, which does a bit more, and then up to level five, which probably does something. It's a fully automated spot welder, so there's no pedal to it. It just senses a resistance, and then it'll, you, you get the spot weld, that's it. Um, if you hold the button down, it, it flashes twice on the LED, and it beeps twice, means it's in shit level two. Shit level three shit level four and shit level five then if you hold it again it turns off simple as that it doesn't come with the probes heat shrunk you get the heat shrink with it probably to reveal the shitness behind these probes are a one-off thing they're not sharpened at all obviously as you can see and <laughs> It does actually come with some 0.1mm nickel, but I threw it away because it's so... I don't even think it's 0.1mm, and it's definitely not nickel. Um, it's nickel coated tin. This is 0.2mm, 100% or 99.97% nickel, which I'm going to be using. The way that they tell between this and fake stuff is this doesn't spark, the other stuff does. So, if I zoom out a bit so like I say you get your probes and it is automatic and it's done something it did weld it it's not very strong let's turn it up to shit level two. Oh, you f missed <laughs> ow Oh, <laughs> it's the only trouble is it's automatic and you've only got a second so if you slip it's getting better yeah I'm going to need pliers for that one shit level 3 These, these leads could be longer. Actually, these don't get warm. They don't get warm. But, but obviously I'm only doing one weld at a time. Let's try a shit level four. Four. Wow, that's penetrating there. No, it's not. Right, shit level five. <clears throat> That's actually nearly welded. Here's an 18650, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna cut a new strip off. It's not really a fair test to do it uh, 0.2 mil on 0.2 mil. Here's a fresh piece of nickel. So I'm going to put it on there. Obviously, you would have this suspended and held in place somehow. Let's do a couple. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
it's actually it's it has actually welded it has left some behind it's not a, not a brilliant weld but that's 0.2 mil nickel 0.15 or 0.1 mil nickel that'll go through fine well I'm shocked I am genuinely shocked I don't know how but it actually works I'll let you into a secret I've already thoroughly tested this now after doing 10 welds these get too hot to touch um, it needs beefing up it needs this beefing up it needs this beefing up this doesn't really get too hot and I don't know how they've actually done it um, I know you can see the traces on there this, this is virtually non-existent uh, I wouldn't recommend using this long term but for sure you know you just need a few welds doing or you want to do a few welds then have a break let it cool down and everything it's perfect it does the job now your your mileage will vary I've got a thousand amp battery here um, if you were to get a car battery it might not have the power the same power so you've got to bear that in mind but for six pounds well I paid six pounds it's nine pounds something now for nine quid absolutely definitely worth it it ain't as bad as I thought how long it'll last I don't know but you know for nine quid it gets your spot welding link in the description just buy one <laughs> just for an emergency because that's what I'm going to keep it for